from fabulous Los Angeles, California, Hollywood, home of the stars, the magic factory where dreams come true, culture capital of the world, jewel of the Pacific, it's the Adam Carolla Show. Yeah, running incredibly smoothly. <laughs> Get it on. Got to get it on. No choice but to get it on. Mandate. Get it on. Good day, Allison Rosen. Hello, Adam Carolla. <clears throat> Good day, Ball Brian. <laughs> Jay Moore is going to come in here. I'm very excited because um, I'm going to have him try out for the floaters. But I figure like Al Pacino could try out and Harvey Keitel could try out for the floaters. He brings a whole dream team with Andrew him. Andrew Dice Clay and Charles Barkley could all try out for the floaters. Christopher Walken try out for the floaters. Oh, absolutely. Ooh, absolutely. Eddie Vedder, Johnny Depp. <laughs> Jay can stay outside. <laughs> That's going to be awesome. All right. Well, it's a uh, big banner day uh, for me, and a lot of people have been tweeting me. Um, it started a couple days back, but uh, ironically, after we went barnstorm Sacramento, uh, they started putting up on the freeway yeah. signs. Um, if you get into a minor accident, pull over to the shoulder. Not just the signs, the exact way you proposed on the digital signs, on the All digital billboards. the digital signs all throughout california not not just los angeles but southern california and all up and down the state for the first time it says in a minor crash pull to shoulder um i imagine is easily done is telling whoever runs the computer who has a keyboard to put this in instead of click it or fucking ticket or drunk driving you know buzz driving is drunk driving mm -hmm. or um Get hammered, get na get nailed, or whatever whatever cute slogan they have up there. Um, I'm excited about it. I love the notion that we're finally doing it. I hate the notion that we have the worst traffic problem in the world, and it took us ten years to figure this one out. And I'm being kind when I say ten years. And God knows how many cities did this for how many years before us. I don't know if it had anything to do with me screaming about it to certain officials over and over again. It had to. I, I act. I was wondering that today. I was wondering if someone is like, let's just do it. <laughs> I don't want to hear it anymore. Well, why wouldn't you do it? And then why wouldn't you do it with everything? Just slower traffic. Stay out of the left lane. It's legal to turn right on a red. Just all. They even just drive like champions. Just like just anything. <laughs> you got to tap it on your way out of the locker That's room. right. You got to slap it. <laughs> Sunroof open, <laughs> slap the sign at 65 miles an hour. Yes. Did you uh, guys get tweeted about this once or twice? I got, I think, maybe one or two tweets about this. <laughs> I got, yeah, maybe like, I think I saw one. Yeah, I may have seen one. May have had this in it. There was a, there was a, there was a subject that was, yeah, I got yeah. 500,000 tweets. Good. Um, I don't know how you guys are wired. I refuse to think this had anything to do with me. I just think I, eventually, eventually we would do this because we have the worst traffic problem in the United States and there are 175 other cities and states. Well, this is statewide because we're getting tweets <clears throat> from all over the right, state. Right, I'm sorry. There's tw 32 other states mm -hmm. that have had this going. We had to fall eventually, right? I think it may be... I think it could have something. I mean, you because you've been talking about it. A ton of people listen. A ton of people will relay that message to someone else. You personally have mentioned it to Newsom and Garcetti. I was going to say you had the ears of two guys who would be able to do this with a snap of the finger. I don't. I, I, I don't give you credit. I don't assume this was Newsom's work because he, as he told me on the podcast, and this is what you want every politician. He likes to work small to big. And traffic's a big problem. <laughs> Maybe he finally got there. Yeah. How many small problems did he clean up in that time? I want him working super micro small to big. That's what you want out of your politician. Exactly. Out of someone who represents you. <laughs> I don't think these assholes even listen to themselves when they talk. Like they, they have so many just fucked out isms where they go, I like to work small to big. And there's a lot of like, it's it, it's like blazing sounds, harump, harump. Like there's a lot of people nodding their I head. I harump out of that guy. Yeah, not even knowing what the fuck they're talking about. That's a horrible way to work. Work big, 
to small. Right. Treat it like cancer. Find the cancer that kills the most people. Focus on that. And then find the super rare mm -hmm. strains. And you'll get to that. But after we get to the ones that are yeah. killing everybody. But hey, if there's something that has boobs in it, let's just focus on that one. Full time. All right. So uh, the freeway signs are uh, here. And um, they're here to steer, to clear. And I'm excited. I really am, and uh, hopefully this will alleviate the traffic in some small way. Did you experience joy over this today? I, my problem is this in life. A, I did not really connect it to all the complaining that I did. B, I did, I did like the idea. I liked, I, I, I liked it symbolically. I liked the idea. I, I hate I hate the fact that we live in one of the dumbest fucking cities on the planet. I really hate how dumb we are. So I liked it symbolically that we're actually doing something that's free. It's free. It's not like, well, you know, everyone goes, well, they should put a second story on the 405. That would alleviate traffic. That's several billion dollars. Oh, and a decade of work. Right. This is nothing. Mm -hmm. And I hate the idea that it's free and we wouldn't capitalize on it. Instead, we focused on click it or ticket, which doesn't affect anybody because everyone you know wears a seatbelt. And those who don't will not do it based on the click it or ticket. Speaking of how dumb we all are here, did you, do, did you guys experience the thing where you drove under the first one you saw maybe over the weekend in the last couple of days and the traffic had slowed down so people could read it? The oh, irony yes. is the traffic slowed there, down. There is a lot of slowing down to read, yes. And me dragging my finger along the windshield, <laughs> along the inside of the windshield. Um, all right. Speaking of uh, cars, I don't know if you guys have ever had this, but I it almost happened to me today, and it got me thinking. It has happened to me before. Have you ever done that move where you've been with somebody, maybe it's a first date, it seems like a movie, you know, it seems like a movie scene, but it's, it's, I think it's happened to more people than you think. You've gone out with somebody, maybe you had lunch or dinner with that somebody, maybe you were on a date, maybe it was something social or something, you picked them up or something, and you spent some time with that person, maybe you saw a movie and you had dinner with that person, and then you did that move where you got into your car after dropping them off at their place and relieved yourself of a certain amount of gas that had been built up in you because you'd spent the last several hours with not this person expelling it. not expelling said gas. Yeah. Have you ever experienced this horror where the person, <laughs> where you had the heater. I'm already uncomfortable. You had the heater going in your car. It's a cold like it is now. Heater's blowing away. Windows rolled up. You do that relief. Ah, I haven't farted in five hours. <laughs> Fart. Filling your small automobile with your own ass. And then see the person walk up to their porch, do a move where they like feel for their keys <laughs> or their purse. Or their scarf or something, and then turn around and look at you and come jogging back to your That's car. That's when you just floor it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> they're looking at you. Now they're like knocking on yeah. the window, and you're like, What? <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> Call look, me. Look, maniac, write it backwards on a piece of paper and hold it up to the windshield. And then what do you do? Just crack it at like a wallet size amount and I'm, then throw it out? I think you get out of the car and hope the fart doesn't follow you out of the car and shut the door. What's going on? Yeah, or you roll down the passenger window, you throw it out the window, and then peel out. That's a good <laughs> move, too. My, my purse is in the back of the car. I can bring that by tomorrow. Yeah, you don't need that tonight. I can swing that by the house tomorrow. What, what are, time do you leave for work? What are the physics behind fart clinging? Because if you move far, I mean, not that I would ever, but if you move far away from a crowd of people, lean into another room, and then flap your hand, are you safe to go back, or do you need to give it some time? I think certain farts, just like certain like sometimes you spit and it can't get out of your mouth and further away fast enough and there's other times where like it it, it doesn't want to leave are you talking about a loogie i'm talking about just the viscosity oh. and whatever but there's certain oh, yeah. times when okay. spit literally you have to use your hand to like get go get go yeah it's mm -hmm. like mozzarella on yeah pizza. <laughs> and it's vomit. like yep. it's like one of those kid movies where she raises the dolphin from you know from the little cub the little baby dolphin, and at some Fall point, just like to just that, send, the dolphin. It's to send it into the wild, mm -hmm. you know, but and it won't it, go. and they have to be stern. <laughs> it's domesticated spit, like where the person is crying, going, "I said leave," you know. I don't and, love you. Go. That's right. So the Ugh. spit, some spits a clinger, and some spits just uh, screw you. Moving on, I'll be here on the sidewalk. Some farts are clingers. I feel like there's some. 
there's some farts where you just you just part ways. You go, listen, we'll agree to disagree. Yeah. Very amicable. <laughs> right. Let's not get the kids involved. Mm-hmm. You, it's mutual. Yeah. It's just, mutual. It wanted out of that ass just as much as you wanted to expel That's right. It. Then there's, yeah, there's others that don't want to leave the nest. I've had farts follow me for several, <laughs> several hundred feet. They do that. And you think you're in the clear and all of a sudden you're standing there and it, it, it's makes, there. it catches up. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me. Did you think you could, then it just becomes like some sort of jilted lovers come yeah. back drunk with a knife. <laughs> a it scorned really, fart. It's going to kill your rabbit. Yeah. So. You think it's drowned. When no. you let the fart go in the car, there's plenty of chances for that person to circle back and head back to the car. I bet that's happened to millions of 99%. people. 99%. If they so, smell it, then your two choices are get married or break up right there. <laughs> That's right. That's, it. That's right. Get used to this, sweetie. <laughs> All so what right. are you saying? Just dry, wait till you're clear a couple blocks? I am saying you. there is the nerve gas that happens, especially on a first date, especially if there's like a protracted make-out session or something on a sofa or something. You're thinking like, oh, my God, we're going to have sex. Like, it's going to happen. We went out. We ate uh, Viking food earlier that day, you know, then we saw a movie and it's like, and now we're, we're dry humping on the sofa. And then if you get up and leave and you get in your car, you turn the corner, get down the street and then let it fly. You've been holding it for the last six and a half hours. Hold it for another 80 seconds. This reminds me of a special private gymnastics lesson that my mom enrolled me in. So as we know, I was a chunky, uncoordinated young kid. So... Like, some kids need tutoring for math or Spanish or whatever. I was fine with those. I needed a little extra help in all the physical education. Mm -hmm. So I had this private tumbling gymnastics lesson, and I I could not stop farting. Like, every cartwheel, every somersault, I was just – one would escape. And the poor guy, it was a male teacher, Mm -hmm. was so close to my butt. Yeah. What what do you think (laughs) the number one fart gig is? Massage therapist. Personal trainer's got to be up Personal there. Personal trainer, some form yeah. of doctor. Yeah. I mean, there's, I feel like massage. Anesthesiologist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Football team doctor who goes on the field and helps the lineman who's down. Yeah. You know what I mean? Knock 330 downs. pound guy. Let's that get you back control. on your feet, big that fella. guy's lost control huh? of his faculty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, you guys have control of your faculties, and that's why you should take your faculties over to Sherry's Berries, baby. Delicious, delectable holiday berries, baby. Giant dipped strawberries from Sherry's Berries. Only $19.99. That's over 40% savings. You go to berries.com, click on the microphone, and type in Ace. These things are decadent. They're enormous. They're fresh. They're juicy. I I have trouble doing this spot because I salivate. Your mouth waters. I can hear it. Cutting <laughs> into one of the <laughs> They're mouth watering. You I mean, cut into them too. Yes, you use a knife. That's right. White chocolate, milk chocolate, dark chocolate. Mm. All, my, J, all J. Moore characters. Mm-hmm. He'll be in. Yes, my listeners, by the way, can get double the berries for just ten bucks more. Only way to get the special nineteen ninety nine offer is call eight six six fruit zero two. That's eight six six fruit. Zero two, or go to berries, b e r r i e s dot com. Click on the microphone in the top of the right hand corner. Type in Ace. Let's not wait. Berries dot com. All right. No. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. Got a couple phone calls. We got. Uh, we got. Uh, Jay Moore coming in. Uh, another couple of quick questions. Never been in radio for uh, coming on fifteen years. 20 years, um, never thought of this. Somebody could probably tell me. We we went to a sports bar on Sunday, watch uh, half the Niners game. Yes. I was in the bathroom at some point, looked at a sign that said uh, DJ so-and-so is going to be here on Monday night spinning the hits. Was that while you were sitting at the the fans' table? (laughs) (laughs) We walked in. Um, we said to the uh, folks at the uh, sports bar, the, uh, the greeter, we said to uh, hostess, we said, uh, do you have a booth for all of us? Because well, the plan was we're all going to go watch the first half of the Niners game in Sacramento and then drive to Fresno. I was ecstatic. It was about three hours. I was going to shut the fuck up about it. And uh, it was all Brian's idea, but we all decided, look, we got to kill three hours either on this end or at that end. We're going to kill it in Sacramento. 
and uh, have a couple beers, sober up on the van ride on the way over to Fresno. So we went to a sports bar in like Old Town, Sacramento, and we walked in. Old Sack. Old Sack. And they said, uh, worst cologne ever. <laughs> and don't even get me started on the bottle. <laughs> All right. Went down to Old Sack <laughs> and... Um, the chick behind the, uh, there was gr- the, 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 uh, hostess, hostess yeah. the hostess said, uh, well, we don't have any booths open, but we do have the bar. If you want to sit at the bar and I was kind of looking for the booth experience sure. in life in general, I like the booth. Yeah. So I said, oh, well, all right, we'll sit at the bar until a booth opens up. But when we walked by, there was a couple and they said, Hey, Ishman, Allison, Brian, I think recognized yeah. everybody. Hey, we're at the show last night. I said, oh, awesome. And uh, then I sat down with them because uh, their they booth had extra booth space was open, mm-hmm. and um, there are these people. God bless them. I just I I don't even know how it works because of my family system. Um, he's like, I'm out here. I'm in the Bay Area, and uh, my sister sitting across having a beer. Uh, she's from Idaho, I think. Yeah. And um, anyway, I'm a big fan. I got her into you. Now she's a big fan. I bought her a ticket. She came out from Idaho. We went to the show last night. Now we're at a sports bar having a few beers. And I just thought, the Corollas would never, ever. I wouldn't even think of this. I like my sister. This is yeah. impossibility. That was cool. I, I, I love these people. I love that these people are out there. You bought your sister a ticket to the show, you flew her out from Idaho, and now you guys are yeah. enjoying yourself watching the Niners game and having a beer, and I just plopped down with them. Yeah. Private show from Adam Carolla. <laughs> sat down and talked their fucking ear off for about an hour and 10 minutes. This was the conversation happening at the other booth. He's still there. He is still there. <laughs> wow, he's still over there. <laughs> well, pardon moi, but I knew we were going to get a lot of quality time in the seven hours we were going to yes. spend in the minivan. Yeah, you're putting that off. Oh, well, I shouldn't talk. I mean, I left the bar and went ice skating. <laughs> That's right. By myself. So uh, we drank a few beers. We talked to a nice couple. And uh, when I was down in the bathroom, I looked over at the sign and it said that uh, DJ Jazzy, whoever's coming here on Monday night, is going to spin top 40 hits. Mm. And then I thought, why top 40? Mm. Uh, top 50, top 100, top 10? What well, 40. It's Small weird number. and random. Well, we've all accepted right. the top 40 countdown and the top 40 hits and mm. the top 40 whatever, and this guy's a top 40 performer, and he made the top 40 billboard yeah. charts and blah, blah, blah. But I, I don't think it exists anywhere else but this. Like, we can yeah. all go top 10 or top 100 or top, you know, 40 is a top random... Top 25 in college? It's a random place to stop something. Yes. I've never given it a thought, and I don't think any human being has ever given it a thought. And I realize I've been staring and hearing top 40 for... 40 years and have never thought, why 40? Why not top 50? How pissed would you be if you were the 41st band my that only, didn't make the cut? My only guess is that there's back when songs were almost always singles, were almost always between two and two and a half minutes. Maybe mm-hmm. that's the number of songs you could play in a DJ's four hour set. But uh, I don't know if the math makes sense. I'm just thinking there's going to be. I blame something. Casey Kasem. <laughs> That's all I know. Wolfman Jack gets off scot free for you. The but, standard jukebox at the time held forty singles. Oh. But this is um, Metafilter. That was the first search result, that makes sense, which is though. not necessary. So I, I feel like I'm not sure no, that's true. That, but that, 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 that's an you take the top most popular songs that'll mm-hmm. fit into the jukebox if yeah. you own the sock hop, and that's uh, that's songs where it goes. Kids want to hear. Um, all right, a couple of phone calls. Jay Moore's uh, coming in. Someone's calling from uh, Jerusalem, so I'm going to put him on hold too long. Hey, uh, Elon. Hey, Adam. How's it going? How do you say your name? E- Elon. Huh, wasn't too bad. What's it's, going it's pretty on? Simple, pretty simple. 26, much, Jerusalem. That's right. Actually, I'm from L.A. originally. I've been out here for like the last year and a half. Mm-hmm. How is Jerusalem it's compared to L.A.? Same weather. Um, say the same thing about the people. They just kind of just push their way in front of you. It's like the driving habits you get on the freeway all the time. I like that. The only that. difference is, is that tomorrow or the day after, it's going to be snowing here. Which oh, really? I, like, never experienced in L.A. Mm-hmm. So I get actually rolling the snow. So I'm really looking forward to it. Uh-huh. And um, what what you doing over there in Jerusalem? I am in Yeshiva, which... 
is like a Jewish um, theological school. And I've been doing this for over a year now. Mm-hmm. What do you? What What have you figured out? <laughs> oh wow! Um, everything and nothing. Let's just let's stick on the nothing, just because I can talk about it forever. And then, and, and then, what do you? What do you? What's What's the upshot here? What do you do? Do you do you do you get your uh, diploma? That's uh, on nope. parchment paper, written right right to left, and and then come I, back here, or what do you do? I wish I wish it was that simple. It's honestly the reward is thing itself. There's no there's no diploma. There's no medal I get to hang around my neck. It's just you spent time. You have learned the books. Mm-hmm. You haven't learned all the books, but you've learned how to learn the books and go off into the world and try to set a time to keep on learning. But, but do you, the life do through you, the do message. You come, do you come back? Yes. Yes, I plan on coming, being back in, in America in a few months. What do you think about this plan? Everyone laughs at me. But I want to take all of Israel, pick them up, and move them to the Baja Peninsula. I feel yeah, I, like... Other people would like to do that, too. If any country needed Jews, it's Mexico. They are light on Jews. They just, uh, you know, I do, um, I do feel there's like... There's a Jew deficiency. Yes. There's a Jew void. Jew vacuum. <laughs> you <laughs> know, it, it's things. really interesting. The, the first weekend I was out here, uh, this rabbi I was staying by took me to the house of someone in his neighborhood. The man was a Mexican Jewish convert who was from Texas, or from Mexico, grew up in Texas, was a minister for about 20 years or so, and it wasn't until his wife challenged him about things in the Bible. He goes, you're a minister, you should know these sorts of things. Why is this a contradiction with that, et cetera, et cetera. And it made him go search and search and search, and he found Judaism and converted to Judaism with I, his wife. I and heard the song. He came from the old bar mitzvah spread. Oh, yeah. Schlepping the salami and pumpernickel bread. His name was, or no, with a 10-gallon yarmulke That's right. on his head. His name was Irving. <laughs> Big dumb Irving. <laughs> What was the, his name, Irving? The, the crazy thing about Irving, I, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What do you think? The only thing I yeah. He, I, I just want to say he, he made a big point to say that he, he was sure his mother was a Jewish, even was was Jew, even though she was Catholic and you know was raised a Catholic. She just wanted Jewish traditions, but mm-hmm. didn't know why she did them. And it was all this historical stuff of the Catholics came and converted people, and they're Jews. So basically, right, hold on a second. You guys know my feeling on. We talk about all the time, like when there's an oil spill, and so you take the bacteria that eats the oil, and you sprinkle it over the oil, and it starts magically, like nature starts doing its own thing, or there's some pest that's got out of control, so you take a predator to that pest, and you release it. It's a natural way. It's better than taking the crop duster and the DDT. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I believe there's a balance. I, I, You know my whole plan about taking the gays and bringing them to the bad neighborhoods and letting them spread out and set up shop and do get everything, do. do what they do and bring up the property values and all that kind of stuff. I just feel like packing the Jews up from Israel, bringing them down to the Baja Peninsula, like a nice stretch of desert there, about the same ocean. I don't even know if they could tell the difference, honestly. <laughs> if they need the actual topsoil, because, you know, you go, well, it's sacred ground, but how deep does the ground go? If you really think about it, eventually you're getting into someone else's ground, mm-hmm. right? So I figure about nine inches of topsoil. First <laughs> moves, just get some Mexican laborers, send them back. Don't come back without a sack full of topsoil. You know what I mean? Yep. Get the whole thing leveled out with the topsoil, move them in, get the Mexican economy back up on its feet, take care of a little of that, uh, you know, some of the drug lords and the corruption and whatnot over there. Meanwhile, the Palestinian, Palestinians would end up just killing themselves. Oh, because of the Mexicans? They, they'd have, oh, it was an exchange no, program. No, no, no. We're keeping the... Uh, oh, it was an exchange program or just importing? I'm Anything just... I'm, I'm using Mexicans. I'm muling them back and forth with dirt. Okay. Okay? It makes sense. But they're not going to stay there. Okay. And then that, the that, whole, that, whole, the, that whole area will start turning on itself. They need somebody to go after. That's my take. I think it would work. Ilan? Yeah, I'm here. Would you like to be on the first wave with a pillowcase filled with topsoil heading for uh, Rosarita Beach? I will, I will grab my pillowcase off my bed. I will fill it up. And on, when I fly home, I'll, I'll make sure I make a quick detour to Rosarita and get started. Yeah, you know, you may have to check the pillowcase. Yeah. 
Because if you fill it with uh, topsoil, it's going to weigh like 180 pounds. But you so can be, be the first one yeah. to go to the Baja Peninsula and start spreading that topsoil out. Try and get on the Southwest direct flight from uh, Israel to Rosarita because bags fly free. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you got to go to San Diego. Oh uh, well, I don't think Southwest way. goes direct from Jerusalem to Tijuana. They don't do. The- Okay, it's a little more of a pain in the ass or, if you have to connect, but it's worth it, man. <laughs> All right. Where the hell uh, were we? Let's see. Uh, somebody, cricket, stairs, huh? All right, Salt Lake City, you guys got a question you like? Line four, line five, both good. All right, line four. Lily? Yes? 34, Las Vegas, what's going on? Um, I have a long-distance relationship that's kind of been off and on for, like, the past year and a half. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to get your opinion, uh, since you did Love Line, on should I continue with that relationship? He's 40 years old, and he said that he's never really had a long-distance, I mean, a long-term relationship, and I'm kind of the first. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if I should keep on wasting my time with this person or kind of just let it go and move on. Let me explain the on and off relationship. The on and off is the guy going, I think I could have sex with other people, and then smash cut to nine weeks of him beating off in the shower. Hey, sweetie, I've rethought this whole, I wanted off you so I could get on yeah, somebody, on somebody else, else, but <laughs> didn't really work. Guys have a certain cock and ball momentum where they go, well, I'm nailing this one chick, so I'm on a cock and ball roll here. I can just take my personal cock momentum and bring it to the TGI Fridays or the Chili's and pick up a yeah. couple of other chicks because I'm on a cock roll, yeah. except for it, doesn't it, work it grinds that way. to a halt as soon as you pull out of the one you're in. And then they come back, and that's usually the way that works. And then they get lulled into that cock roll confidence again yeah. and, and move on again. Lily's in Vegas. It's kind of like when you hit the first hand of blackjack, you're like, oh, this is going to start a streak. When right. In fact, it's going to cost you money. I don't, I, when a guy does it, when a guy's 40 and he hasn't got his shit together yet, fuck it. He's broken. Well, he does have his shit together. It's just that he's never had a, long, a long-term relationship. But I mean, he has a that's house. like he saying, has- I can't go to the dentist because I've never had my teeth cleaned. It's like, no, mm-hmm. now you need it more than ever. That's, that, I've it. never had a long-term relationship doesn't mean shit to me. And it shouldn't mean shit to you. You're and that 40. also, to me, doesn't mean he has his shit together. Yeah. He went outwardly. That's right. You tell Peter Pan to take a shit on you or get off your pot. <laughs> okay. What's his name? His name's Mitch. You tell Mitch Pan <laughs> to get off the pot. Mitch is a strong name. Not a Mitch's anymore. Mm-hmm. Really? You think? Yeah. No. Do your kids have any Mitch friends? No, no. no. That's a strong, strong name. dude's name. That's a that's a guy who's going to help you move. That's right. On less than ninety minutes notice. Yeah, Mitch, Mitch. is down. Mitch Call like, Mitch. It's like I got gas in the rig. I'll be right over. Yep. But you can't Mitch. schedule something for next Tuesday with Mitch. No, because he might even be in the state. It's out of the Mitch bubble. Also, he's 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 a he's a rambling guy. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? You won't you can't nail him down. No. You can't hold him down, ladies. You know what else? There's not a lot of anymore. Mm. Barbara, Linda, or Lois. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all horrible dude names, but yeah. yes, <laughs> they want I agree. Help you move on a moment's notice. No. Yeah. All right, Lily. I don't like Mitch. I like his name. I'd like yeah. you to find another yeah. Mitch. All right, I'll try finding another Mitch. Thank you, Adam. All right. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. Well, once, once somebody look once once somebody displays a behavior, like when somebody goes, "Look, I got a computer filled with nine year olds that are naked." But that's anyway. That's in the past. Make sure and get that. <laughs> that's in the past. Or you know, I I I balled my fist up and beat the shit out of my last girlfriend about her face and crushed her orbital socket. But anyway, I've now learned that that's not, it's, it's quite the opposite. It's, it's, that should never occur to you and you should not be capable of it. But then once you do do it, there will be other cases of you doing it, or you're just going to live with someone who wants to do it. Right. This guy, you could marry him at some point. He's going to do the Mitch is a rambling man. And the good news is if you dump Mitch's ass and then it turns out that, oh, he was the one and, and he feels that you are the one, he'll come back. Mm-hmm. All right. 
We got uh, one more call. Jay Moore's coming in here. First, Hulu, baby. Hulu Plus. You tried Hulu.com. Now it's time for Hulu Plus. You watch your favorite TV shows anytime, anywhere. Thousands of hit TV shows, movies brought right to your living room, man. Smartphone or tablet, $7.99 a month. Current TV favorites like SNL, our own Jimmy Kimmel. The Shark Tank. Love myself some Shark Tank. Scandal. All there. All on Hulu+. Plus. By the way, they have uh, original shows like The Wrong Mans and uh, Behind the Mask. I like this new doc series about the world of sports mascots. Let me say this. I was watching uh, Real Sports and uh, Brian Gummel, and they're doing the whole uh, sports mascot thing. Yeah. And oh, they're the doing the, the live mascots. Yeah, they had the PETA mm-hmm. person there, and it's like, it's torture for that falcon yeah to go like from the top of the stadium to that guy's glove <laughs> it's like her point was the falcon was being kept captive. really and uh and then the bull yeah. uh, uh sorry the, the buffalo tiger, buffalo, yeah. buffalo from colorado it's like it's torture for that thing to run down the field and i'm like you know who's really being abused the 22 year old guy in tallahassee florida who's in the full head yeah and the Full, yeah. full muscle That's man, styrofoam yeah. outfit, shed 18 pounds of water weight yeah. and a sack of salt. If anyone's really being abused here, yeah. it's the human being. The guy doing the push-ups in the duck costume? <laughs> <laughs> yes. The guy who's using the pad on the goalpost like a heavy bag yeah. and a full duck outfit in Southern <laughs> California when it's 103 degrees outside. Not the horse that the guy's on. Yep. Yeah. That guy, that thing's doing what it wants to do. And then it's and doing Brian a lap. Gumbel presents a very ar- good argument of that thing is kept very good care of. As Ellis needs are met, it largely lives a better life. It's like it is above average, but we would still like to see him not be held. <laughs> it's like all right, listen, you're just arguing to argue now. Uh, I hate to use this pun, but uh, Peta, don't you have bigger fish to fry? <laughs> Thank you. All right, where was I? Hulu, Hulu Plus. That's right. I got a special offer. For my listeners, you can try Hulu Plus for free. That's right, two weeks free. Make sure you use the HuluPlus.com slash Adam, HuluPlus.com slash Adam, for the extended free trial so they know we sent you. That's HuluPlus.com slash Adam. All right, one more call, and then the great Jay Moore comes into studio. Ryan. Yeah. 24, Salt Lake City. What's happening? Hey, um... Hey, I, I got a. I'm recently married. I've been married for about a year and a half now, and um, I'm, you know, my wife and I are newlyweds. But I'm only 24. She's 22, 23. Sorry, <laughs> and uh, she's really baby hungry. And not that I don't want to have kids, but I'm not as baby hungry as she is. And uh, they're delicious. I mean, yeah. And <laughs> Brian. Yeah, and um, you know. Mm-hmm. So I was just wondering what your advice would be as a family man to um, kind of <sighs> help her wait a little bit longer than... I'm sorry, did you, you know. say she was 23? She's 23, I'm 24. Right. Um, yeah. That is not... I mean, it, it's good, but where are you in your career, income, level of education, things like well, that? Both, we're both in school still. I'm I'm working on my degree in computer science, and she's going into uh, psychology or nursing. I just so. don't think, and I, it maybe holds more true for a man than a woman, because then she get into her field, and then she's going to have to have a kid, and then maybe she'll take a leave of absence from her field. I don't know, but um, having a kid before you've launched your career does not sound like a great plan, especially the future looks good for you two kids, but. At age 23 and 21, you know, this is, you know, when when the woman says, I'm going to turn 35 next March and blah, 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 time is ticking. You have, you have to talk. That's a real, that's a real discussion. At 23, you're a good five years off of having to have a real discussion about this. And I know she wants a kid. Let, there should be a kid petting zoo. Oh, yeah. You know. <laughs> Get everything you need yeah. for the kid. Cuddling zoo. Uh-huh. Where parents that are like you know fair to midland drop their kid off all day their kid gets to be in a safe environment with the wood shavings down on the ground you know that, right you can get some you can get some like checks mix and like for a quarter, for a quarter get some feed <laughs> get some feed for them and like hard up parents can just in a supervised environment mm-hmm. yeah, i'm not talking about I, you get to take them to the camper for a conjugal visit or anything 
under the, you know, on, 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 well, during the daylight hours, you pick them up, put them on your shoulders, run around, do a horsey thing, give them a nice squeeze. We'll give you a couple of Nerf footballs. You throw it around, a little high five. Take some pictures. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. It is a kid petting zoo. Hell of an idea. And as parents who, you know, maybe come from a broken home, maybe you have a, a one too many kids, you drop the kid off. The kid gets the affection, right. the attention, the love, the check mix that maybe it's <laughs> missing at home. Exactly. Your wife gets a lot of this. You know, she comes home after a long day at the kid petting zoo and is like, oh, I'm, I'm exhausted. I got that all out of my system. She smells like sawdust and, <laughs> and spit up. That's right. I like that. This is great. The kids get to learn to work together. Hmm? What's that, Ryan? That's a good new birth control system. I think I sh- you should... Uh, the petting zoo? That. Yeah, yeah, that's a great idea. Uh, I would say I would use the school, use the training, and if you want to drop my name, fine. You'll be a much better parent <laughs> in a few years when you're established. Thank yeah. you and mahalo. By the way, I don't know anyone well-adjusted who came out of uh, parents that young. I know a lot of people who aren't that well adjusted, and then it's like, what happened? And oh, well, my parents were really young when they had me. My mom well, the, was twenty one, and my dad was twenty four. The one caveat—is that true? I was going to say, Paul Ryan. No, I was saying we grew up in L.A. Damn it! They're from Salt Lake City. Oh, you're right. They—it's about time. That could. Ha- I, I feel like there are plenty of people from Salt Lake City who had parents that were that age, yeah. and blah blah blah. All right, uh, the great Jay Moore. Uh, us, San Diego, American Comedy Club, uh, early show sold out, late show still around if you want to come out Wednesday, December 18th, and uh, say hi to us. Also, uh, Mangria on tap over at the uh, Santa Monica Hooters, just flowing. So if you want to check that out, fine. Uh, Love of Our Country event, sponsored by Coca-Cola. That's uh, me and Kevin Costner. That is coming up this uh, Sunday. Costner's band is playing. I'm hosting. That is uh, Sunday, December 15th. Air Force One Pavilion at the Reagan Library in Simi Valley. Never been there before. Seven-course meal. You should have seen Chris Maxipata. Go. He went off like a pinball machine. when he Seven courses. He wasn't. He was not on the traveling squad, but he's now said he could easily get in the trunk of the Jag for seven courses. We're all just fantasizing about what is that? It was great because um, (laughs) I said to all the guys, and we weren't talking about seven courses, but I said, look, Chris, you want to come to this thing and come to this thing. You can eat for free and, you know. Have fun, have a have fun on Air Force One, and then I did that move where I went to my car to leave, and then I realized I left my cell phone, and then I turned around and came back to all the guys that were sitting on the sofa, and they're knee deep in a maybe there's two entrees, or maybe they're counting the palate cleanser like the sherbet is a course yeah. that all broken off in discussion groups. Mm-hmm. This is exactly what I want them doing when I'm <laughs> paying them on what is the seventh course. Is it a moose bouge a course? <laughs> Did you guys figure out what the course was? Can't be soup or salad. It's going to be soup and salad. I don't want to spoil a surprise for Chris, so <laughs> we're still looking. All right, so uh, you can come out. You can say to hi to say hi to us and Max Pata and the rest of the crew and uh, Costner and all that good stuff for tickets by the way, and uh, more info, you can go to uh, loveofourcountry.com. All right, I'll tell you what. Uh, let me hit a quick spot, and then we'll bring in the great Jay Moore. DraftKings, baby. DraftKings.com. They got the Millionaire Grand Final. It's just days away. Let's get in while the getting's good. You could win a million bucks. Tip for this weekend, Cleveland versus Chicago. Nine of the ten top ten winners in the uh, Grand 200, had uh, at least one Cleveland player on their team. Yeah. And they've won over $80,000. One day fantasy sports, not the old drawn out long season, Brian. Feeling good about your chances yeah, for this million not, bucks? I did not have a Cleveland player on my roster, but I won two games this weekend. I'm back on top. Two games I doubled up in a $10 contest and a $5 contest. Uh, I'm back. DraftKings, baby, Dawson. Hurry for free entry into the Millionaire Grand Final. Enter promo code ADAM at DraftKings.com for your free shot to be crowned a fantasy football millionaire. But you got to enter ADAM today at DraftKings.com for details and your free entry. Visit DraftKings.com, DraftKings.com. All right, quick break. Back with Jay Moore. Floating on next. <laughs> Better watch.
watch your toad, fellas, or... Water balloon. Hey! Oh, man. <laughs> I strike what again. <laughs> what is that? Well, first of all, it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we officially have our worst guest ever. I opened the beer and turned around to see that mess of toe staring down, but it was just Keith and me. It wipes up all messes, right? 7-Up, RC, Coca-Cola, Mellow, Yellow, Ginger Ale, forget about it. Drop a chocolate milkshake in the car. Dude, it's all over the seat and spilling out the edges. But with the ShamWow, you'll wipe it right up and there'll be no mess left behind. <laughs> when you are presenting that you're going to have sex, are you in full Brody mode? Or are you saying, we're going to do it? I'm never, I'm bringing in, I'm you never back. in full Brody. I'm getting an erection. <laughs> we're having it. Orgasm. It's Rectal exam, and uh, I'll see what's going on back there. I'll warm this up for you. If you're selfish and you're thoughtless and you're broken and you're heartless, you're probably not a diva, you're a cunt.
It's time for Nicaraguan Name That Christmas Movie with Adam's buddy Oswaldo. See if you can guess which holiday favorite this line is from. Don't you ever tell you I, I want Bambo? Bambo Bounce! If you said Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, didn't I ever tell you about Bumbles? Bumbles Bounce! <laughs> You're correct. Now, back to the show. Jay Moore in studio. Jay's doing some stand-up. South Point Casino. That's January 21st. Ah, 4th through the 26th. And, of course, the podcast. More stories you can get on iTunes. New episodes Monday and Friday. Uh, great to see you, Jay. Good to see you, my friend. Bald Brian and Allison. Uh, I'm really, <gasps> really excited that you're here because uh, we've been having fun with uh, Float On by the Floaters. Floaters. And um, it just started when we were in uh, Waukegan, Illinois, and we we're all in a van, and it was rainy, and we we're driving home from the show, and it was midnight. What are you, the Melvins? Why are you driving around Sound in a like, van? You're big time. Uh, could have been an SUV, but there were six dudes in it. And anytime you get six dudes into one Sounds under hot. one car roof, it becomes a van. Yeah. So I... Uh, Turned on the radio and float on by the floaters came on and nobody knew what this was. And, uh, well, Dawson will give you a little taste. I, well, I know. The, I saw them on TV. It's Red just, satin pants. They're cut off at the knee. <laughs> it's just people can't picture this was, it seems like an SNL sketch. Aquarius. Aquarius. And my name is Red. Now I like a woman who loves her freedom. Mm. And I like a woman he lost me at I like a woman. <laughs> <laughs> hey, gang. <laughs> she likes a woman who loves her freedom but doesn't mind his incarceration. <laughs> now I like a woman that's mm. quiet. It's <laughs> quiet. A woman who carries herself like Miss Universe. Leo. Now my name is Paul. You see, I like all women of the world. Look, I just jump in with a semi-racist thought. I never heard a black dude talk about a Zodiac sign. I don't feel like that's their bag. Yeah. I think right. in the 70s it was it was big bag. I think it was getting laid bag, but I've never met a brother that was into the whole Aquarius thing. Well, I, don't, I don't think the floaters are in it. To quote Bob Newhart, I, I, I don't think the floaters are in it for, for, the, for the art. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> but then we thought... I think they're in it for the... For the chicks. Wouldn't it be funny if uh, Al Pacino was attempting to uh, get into the band The Floaters? It's about the right time. Yeah, uh, turn my headphones up. How am I supposed to do this? If, oh, there's a beat. My name is Al. <laughs> I'm an Apollo. <laughs> well, I think that Al, huh? I'm producing this. Apollo is not a sign. Let it go. We're getting hot. I like a woman on natural <laughs> that never has shaved in her life. I need a plan weed eater before I even get my pants off. What are you going to do? My eyes are real big right now. <laughs> yeah. At the it, thought of the woman. Ow. Yeah. Yeah. We got the session band in here. We only have for about another 40 minutes Talented boys. Absolutely. And girls. A couple in there, Who's yeah. the girl She's on the, the oboe? Oh, the flautist? Look, yeah. It looks like an oboe. Oh, I'm sorry. Are yeah, you but, sure? No, I'm not arguing with you. Looks like an oboe. So they're almost in the same phylum. Woodwind yeah. and brass. How is that the same? Oh, okay, you know, I'm not arguing with I'm you. I'm trying to sing but, a song. You know, Mr. Pacino, I'm just, uh, I'm just I'm an Al engineer. I'm Pacino. I'm a floater. Right. So we want sexy talk. Yeah. Not, you know, with the <laughs> weed whacker and everything. But that's sexy to me. Well, we're looking for oh, top. Oh, not your looking for top 40 sexy. Oh, all right. Okay, here we go. I like a 40-year-old woman <laughs> that likes to be on top. When I'm laying down. It can't be too graphic. Huh? We can't be too sexually graphic. You see what I'm saying? Oh, you want me to dial it back a little bit? Is that what you're saying? We like sexy Did talk. Did I cross your line? <laughs> no, I don't have a line. I'm an atheist. You're I the am. one giving me all the advice about <laughs> how to be in the floaters. I thought I was in the band. I'm we hired you 
As a producer... Yeah, I'm trying to make this friendly for the radio. I'm trying to make a hit record. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. There's the chorus. I got it from here, Adam. My name is Al. I like a woman with curves that works out at curves because she's too embarrassed because she's too big to work out anywhere else. I like a big fat girl. We, we can't use that never company shaves. Names. We don't want company. We don't want it. That has a funky smell. Uh. I like funk. Al. I would make love to Bootsy Collins Ooh. if he was a girl, but he's not a girl. He's a man. Bootsy Collins is a man. I've seen him in a restroom. Al, a lot of this isn't going to make whoa, the final whoa, cut. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, 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 yeah. That'll make the cut. <laughs> um, now, what if Norm McDonald? <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> tried out for the floaters. Well, wait, wait. Is it, are we down a member? How, how did I get here? <laughs> Who no, left? We, we want a Canadian. How, how many floaters were there? There's four floaters. And who left that... Uh, Charles. Oh, Charles is gone? Charles is gone. Yeah, I like that guy, Charles. You never trust a guy named Charles. Except Charles Schultz. You trust him. Yeah. Uh, implicitly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Norm? <laughs> yeah. So what we thought is we'd bring a little diversity to the group. You want me to be uh, like a black guy? No, no, no. That's the point. Like a Chinese no, like, guy. Uh, like, no, no. We like the idea that you're Canadian guy. Oh, and you're so coming I'll be out. a Canadian guy in the floaters there. Because we're looking at sort of cross the border. I like this beat. You know what I mean? Diversify. This is a, this is a, a hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I feel when you lend your velvety tones to it, it we could really. Oh just, my God. Could float right <laughs> you, to the top oh, of the I'm chart. Ready to go. Let okay. me know when uh, my mic is hot. It's hot, Norm. Go ahead. Uh, my name's Norm, <laughs> and uh, I like. Uh, well, we gotta get your sign in, Norm. Sorry, I don't huh? Know. They give their sign, and then they give their name. Oh, uh, oh, I understand. I had it backwards. Yeah, yeah. You put the sign out there. I thought that was editing. That was what. Oh, uh, uh, we could clean it up in in audio, like in post. But yeah, I think one of those clean up machines there. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, put your. Sign your. Do you have a zodiac sign? Yeah, I mean, I'm of course a, uh, you do. Do you know what it is? <clears throat> oh, I'm ready to go here. Yeah. Norm McDonald, uh, this will be take two. Yeah, we'll, we'll of, do, you uh, don't have to slate. Of, uh, no, it just helps me get into it, you know. Oh, okay, sorry. I'm Norm McDonald. This is take two. Now it's, I guess, it's 2A or 3 now, you know. Yeah, is, see, uh, you're getting mired in this, Norm. I, just, I think you're up, your, you're up in your head. Just, just, you know, speak from your heart, you know. Oh, you want me to let it flow? Float, yeah. Float. All right. Right, right. <clears throat> I'm a, I'm a Sagittarius. My name is Norm. <laughs> I, that's short for Norman. And uh, I like a, a girl with uh, with like a really big butt. <laughs> a girl that's uh, not afraid to be herself, you know? So many of these, uh, these ladies out there, you know, they put on airs. Not with Norm, you know? You, uh, act like yourself. Right, right. It's good. You don't have to put on makeup or anything like that. Just come out of the house when I come pick you up. In my Dodge Durango promoted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we we're gonna, we can't work, you know, brands in. I'm well, I'm still a Sagittarius though. No, that's not a brand. I think that's a neon or something, right? Oh no, I don't uh, no, that's fine. You can give your sign out. Oh all right. yeah, sorry. I, I'm a Sagittarius. Yeah, we got a clean version of that. Norm. I'm a Sagittarius. You want another uh, version of my sign? No, no, we got a clean Good God, version. man. We got a what clean version. We got a clean <laughs> version of your sign. We're just more of the kind of sweet talk, you oh, know, like ladies. Sweet talk to ladies. Uh, hey, that's what I'm known for is sweet talking the gals. Sagittarius Norm, that's me. Uh, I like a gal that likes to be sweet talked. Especially when uh, I lay her down in my uh, Kareem of Wheat bathtub there, you know? I like a girl that likes to eat food, yeah? Yeah, you don't want to go on a date and go, I'll just have a salad. Uh, need not apply, I think is the phrase. Uh, I like a girl that says, hey, uh, where's all the pasta? <laughs> Let's get our grub on, you know? Yeah, we, Sagittarius. We, we go pasta. Pasta. What, Norm, this is going to be played in the States mainly. What? 
Good we God. We need a pasta. We can get a clean pasta. <laughs> I think the record just gets uh, something. Right. We just get a clean pasta. longer loop. If we can get a beef. clean pasta from you, we can slug it in. Pasta. We just one pasta. <laughs> Sagittarius pasta. <laughs> yeah, that would clean. be a bad idea. No, you get a girl it, come out, no makeup on, you know? Yeah, yeah. And she no, looks right into the camera and goes, I enjoy Sagittarius pasta. Hey, can we just get one clean pasta? All right, one clean pasta. Uh, pasta. <laughs> Oh, that was close. That yeah, was close. Yeah, that was good, you know? Just one more. Just Everybody likes pasta. pasta. Pa. <laughs> no, don't hit it that hard. Is it just clamp it? Just just pa. Pa. No, just like, pasta. I don't just call a, my dad pa. No, no, just pasta. Pasta? There you go. That's Who good. Who says pasta? No, that's, that's crazy. No, we do, we do it here in the that's States. That's absurd. Pasta. I think you're a wacko. All right. <laughs> How you doing, Jay? You I'm gotta, doing well. You have enough air in you for one more? I, I think Chris would like to take a shot at this. I like, uh... Yeah. <clears throat> I'm ready. Just don't even set it up. This, right. uh, this, It's flowing now. Yeah. Virgo Leo, I'm on the cusp. Yeah. <laughs> Chris, I play bass guitar, four strings in the truth. <laughs> and what I look for in a woman <laughs> is honesty. Don't lie to me. Don't look me in my eye and tell me that I didn't see what I just saw. Otherwise, I'm going to take my fist and brain you, and your brains will be all over the parking lot of TGI Fridays, and everyone will run out and go, whoa, that man, Yeah, he just bashed that girl's brains in for lying to him. The Virgo Leo man on the cusp that plays bass. Yeah, hey, Chris, who are you? I just went, I'm the engineer. Oh, I'm sorry. I, uh, Where's I, your I, train? No, different kind. I, I'm sound tech. Sound tech engineer. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to. Uh, we want you to do your thing. Yeah, I'm and you're doing do my great. thing, baby. But bashing someone's head in with your fist—that's what just, gets me off. I, I know, but yeah, we're again we're trying to get some spins oh. on the AM dial. You know oh. what I'm saying? Yeah, of course. So that that kind of dial talk it back. Be, Take me back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go, Dawson. We'll take us back to the top. That's right. Yeah, I'm feeling it. <laughs> Virgo Leo on the cusp. Hey, can we just pick one? Well, I'm on the cusp, baby. It <laughs> I depends on what newspaper any, you read. August 23rd, <laughs> you could be a Virgo if you read the New York Times and then in Vogue magazine, whoa, all it's, of a sudden I'm a Leo. I'm not that worried about that right now. I just feel like if you said Virgo. But I you, can't pick one. It goes against my astronomical yeah, I, I, sign. <laughs> I don't feel like people are going to be upset if you just pick the one, but they could be confused potentially. Who gets confused about the astrological chart? Yeah, I, I, morons. That's who you want buying this record is morons that don't know the twelve signs of the zodiac, that can't wait to wear through. All right, you know what? We we'll probably spend too much time on look, this. My name is Chris. Yeah. For you, engineer with no train, I'll do this for you. I'm Chris. Leo, I play the bass. It's four strings, six strings. That's too too many. And what I look for in a lady is lady parts. If I'm with a girl and I don't see lady parts, I get out of there. I don't stick around. <laughs> when the manhandle comes out, I'm gone, baby. So can, if can you I meet jump me in? backstage. I jump in just for one second. I like to make believe we're live and there's an audience in front of us. Well, but, but I'm like, you I just, in the front row, take off your pants. Do you have a penis? <laughs> talking, see, talking about transvestites is not really. Who said what anything about that? Well, you said a lady who's got man parts. Yeah, I'm talking about big arms. Oh, oh, oh. Shoulders. You know what? Then I'm sorry. Maybe Continue. a beard. Well. <laughs> not like Kelly Preston, like a beard beard. Did you hear the other floaters? <laughs> yeah. Did you hear what they liked in a lady? The black men. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They liked a lady who, you know, carried herself. He, one man, like the girl that's quiet. Right, right. I like a screamer. <laughs> yeah, but what... And I like I appreciate that, but we but can't it's really. It's got to be on the AM dial. That's right. Yeah. All right. Let's just try one more, Chris. <clears throat> Leo, Chris. <laughs> I like a girl that's not afraid to speak her mind, unless, of course, we disagree, and then we work it out as a couple. That's what a relationship is all about: compromise. If I disagree with what you say, then that's fine. We'll just drive home in silence. And then when we get back up to the apartment, I'll sleep with my back to you. And then when you least expect it because you think I'm angry with you, I roll over. <laughs> and we cuddle. 
Because that's what a real man does for his girl. They don't always want to make love all night long with your stamina. Just give her a hug and say, Oh, baby, I love you. Thank God you paid. I appreciate your love and all your lady parts. <laughs> Sorry. I stink. <laughs> I couldn't even get through my own fucking <laughs> stupid shtick. <laughs> Jay Moore, buddy, I love that. <clears throat> oh, God. It was funnier when it was... Cowbell. Yeah, I need more cowbell. Use the room. <laughs> All right, now, I'm looking at so many names on this. We're In that we're... cowbell sketch, they call him Bruce Dickinson. That's the lead singer of Iron Maiden. So oh, it is? Yeah. Did not know that. We're going to uh, we're going to do some news, but at some point, I don't know, Kaitel, Tracy Morgan. Let me do one, one more one. alternative lifestyle droopy, your favorite. Okay. <laughs> now, now right. when I did your show. Yeah, you said I stole it and I panicked. Because you were like, oh, I, I liked that the first time when Mencia did it. And I'm like, what? And you go, yeah, and he stole it off of Rogan in the mid-90s. You hit like the two names yeah. that are the wheelhouse of comedy, police, and theft. You know what I love? I love how incredibly insecure we all are, and I like it. I like how insecure we all are that if my son, my seven-year-old son said to me, listen, Dad, I need to talk to you about so... your attitude, and I'd go, what? And he'd go, after recess, I'd be a fucking mess up until we spoke. Like. Yeah. Jay Moore, funniest guy on the planet. I was doing his radio show. He introduced a character called Alternative Lifestyle Droopy Dog. I immediately <laughs> said, Oh, you ripped that off from Mencia, who took it from Rogan in, in the, the mid nineties, and he became a defensive heap of shit. Not defensive, apoplectic. Like you gotta be kidding me, because I had been <laughs> doing it for that point for like three weeks on the radio show and people send in like tweets like, Could you say this is the guy? Right. But, like, Rogan is the comedy police. I, I only said it because there's no other human being who could have pu put those combination so of characters yeah. together. But it's really not that out of the realm of possibility to think of, that like... Carlos Mencia would have done that bit? It's, it's like a... It's, it's droopy dog. It's not like <laughs> this alternative dog. weird thing. Uh, it's, it's, like, kind of hacky. Uh, all right. So you want to float on with uh, alternative droopy mm -hmm. dog? I do. <clears throat> oh, boy. <laughs> cancer but don't hold it against me unless you're a man then hold it all against me i'm alternative lifestyle droopy dog and i play the skin flute ew are you the engineer yeah i am could you please oh do you drive a train no different kind I'm i a, love a train i uh, know as long as i'm in the front with a long line behind me Oh, listen. Oh, boy. I said that bringing in famous cartoon characters. Yes. <clears throat> by the way, Yosemite Sam's waiting, so if we could sort of step this up a little bit. My other ride is a mustache. I, I said that I didn't think this was a fantastic idea, and it's not per you know personal. You know why mustache rides you free? Why is that? He insists on it. <laughs> he loves face sitting. You know, Droopy Dog? Yeah. This, for me... I just want to get through this because oh, okay. I, I didn't feel like it was a great idea. I thought we should replace <coughs> Charles from the Floaters with one of the spinners. I thought that that was my idea, but oh, everyone I else. I love a good spinner. Brad everybody, I'm a tiny dog, but when my lipstick's out of the case, I'm ready to spin. Yeah, everyone else Red wanted rifle, to go Red a different rifle. Red yeah. rifle. Yeah. Okay. Let's go, Droopy Dog. Let's I'm just, a cancer. <clears throat> say your name. Say, well, say your zodiac sign. Cancer. And then your name? Alternative Lifestyle Droopy Dog. I just think if you said Droopy, it'd be better. But I got to get the message out there. I'm just like <laughs> anyone else. I'm here. I'm queer. Get used to it. Uh, I, the floaters are sort of a band that Did is... Did you know when I go to the groomer, they clean my anal glands? <laughs> they express them, I think. What they express do. them? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Alternative Lifestyle Droopy Dog. Can I say this? You want to rub take, my belly? No, don't take this personally. But It's okay. You can rub my belly. We're singing to the ladies. Oh. You see what I'm saying? I'm definitely the wrong guy for the job. Well, that's what I was saying. Yeah. I didn't... I didn't... Look, I'm not judging. Maybe if I work, I'm in I'm the band, like, the other fellas will get all the girls because I'm not interested. I like cock. I understood. Big, stiff... Oh. Can I'm, I meet the rest of the no, band? They're I, all black men with big dicks. 
Well, not all black mm. men. Uh, can I say this? Do you have any peanut butter? I don't have any. I could probably get some if you need it. I haven't seen your. Oh, rider. I need it. Well, can can I say this? Alternative lifestyle, Drewby Dog. I'm not judging because I produced. I engineered. I bet the, you look great in a robe. I engineered not only uh, the village people, but mm. Yaz. Yeah. Or Yaz. 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 Yeah. I think it's Yaz. Yeah, anyway, they call it Yaz. George Benson I, beat me up last night. I don't want to even want to know. I don't even want to know. I per, I, I've worked with many gay acts. Let's just put it that way. Okay. Okay, so I don't personally have an issue. But the audience... Yeah. Did you say yes? Yeah, break it down. <laughs> The audience. It Are you going to tell me the dog doesn't get a fair tryout because he's gay? No, they want Sal. I, please wait in the waiting room. We have alternative alternative lifestyle droopy dog got me off. I'm relaxed. Tracy, listen to me. Is that Tracy? Yeah. Okay. Tracy, you should rub his belly and see the little red rifle come out. It's amazing. All right. What I'm saying is, is we're talking to the ladies. Yeah, I'll talk to the ladies. So the the overt gay talk is probably Get out not the room, with... dog. This is for men. All right, good. Tracy Morgan, that's what I'm saying. Tracy, if you could... Well, you know how it goes. Yeah, I know how it goes, Adam Carolla. You got the breakdown. You bet your ass. There ain't no way I'm not going to be in the floaters. That's why I got my wheelchair gloves from when I lost my legs in Vietnam. Finger fucking on the handball courts. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Is that part of what you want to say to the ladies? No, I'm just breaking it down oh, for my okay. engineer, because you and me got to be no, in I, step, I, straight up. Like my DMC you. with them Adidas shell tops. Okay, so what I'm going to ask... Fat laces. What I'm going to ask is, you say your sign. Yeah. And then you say your name. Yeah, all right. And then you talk about the ladies. But yeah, it's I'm going to make... Because I want to be in the floaters. <laughs> But it's kind of nice, clean, sexy talk. Yeah, I like clean, sexy talk. All right, here you we gotta go. You got to get sensual on these bitches. <laughs> well, don't say bitches. We ain't on mic yet. Okay, sorry. You're right. Okay. I'm going to stun you, Adam Carolla. I'm ready. It's called the stunner. One in the paint, two in the stink. And the third one right in the floaters. <laughs> yeah. Again, I know this isn't part of it, but yeah. just to kind of warm into it. Oh, all right. It's, it's clean, huh? AM, sexy talk. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm your man. All right, let's do it, Tracy. <clears throat> Capricorn, Tracy, what's going on? <laughs> I like all women. I like all women, and I do not pull out. I repeat, I do not pull out. So if you're in the audience tonight and you want to have sex under the stage, you are going to leave here pregnant. Hey, Tracy. Huh? Um, remember we were talking about this sort of a sexy talk that was like a little... That's sexy. Girls like that. Yeah. They know They know I like it raw. Yeah, no, but... but oh, baby, I like it raw. But like, well, even singing it doesn't make Listen it. Listen to the beat, though. It uh, fits. I like it raw. I don't pull out. Yeah. I never pull out. I'm worried about the program directors. I let it flow straight up. I get all up in the guts. Yeah, I'm just saying the program directors will listen to this, and if it's a little too... Tell the program director that I know karate. <laughs> I don't think they're going to respond to that. I'll Trina. take my jacket off. I'll be in the dojo with no shirt on and parachute pants, just like Richard Pryor's gold shoes on. This is too, do you know risque with Capricorn. the word risque? It's like Tracy. Risky. Yeah, go ahead, sir. You fucking me up, man. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. This is why the band broke up. Because no, guy engineers I, like no, you try to get no, too I involved. You were in the floaters. I was hired you on You were in the floaters. But I was brought in you to reassemble. You were brought in, but you ain't in the floaters. You fucking up the floaters. And right, you ain't Doug Flutie, goddammit. We probably got off on the wrong We might have won the game if it wasn't for goddamn Adam Corolla Flutie. All right. You know what? Let's just, I'll let you. Put it out there again. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. Uh, Let me do my thing, man. I got. Hey, I'm gonna, I gotta be me. I'm gonna mute my mic. Capricorn, little, <laughs> little false, <laughs> little false start there. I'm gonna get it right though. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. This here is a mating call. Capricorn, Tracy. I play all the instruments. There's nothing on stage I can't pick up because I'm dexterous. I'm dexterous, ambidextrous, I'm amphibious and bilingual. And y'all know what I'm talking about, girls. I like a girl that can kiss nice, sensual. It ain't all I gotta be all aggressive. When you kiss me, kiss me nice. Give me little kisses on my neck and on my nipples. <laughs> There's no reason we ain't gotta get right to the sex. I like to just hang out with the girls. Tell them stories of my past. I was a track star, damn it. Then I lift up my shirt and I slap my tummy and I'd say, this is a mating call right here. 
<laughs> Everybody's getting pregnant. Hey, Tracy, Everybody's getting pregnant. Tracy, I gotta put my, I gotta unmute my mic. You said you was say. muting your mic. I did. I you did. You fucking us up. I you I'm muted for that as long as I That was a hit. Time. I'm here. Hey, to Dawson, make sure I get a copy of that. I'll sell out on the street with DJ K Slay up in Harlem. You can't clear 125th that. 125th and I'll clear whatever the fuck. It's a bootleg for a reason, motherfucker. I'll clear it. No, we, these are session musicians. This music is licensed. I'll sell that on a carpet on Lexington Avenue next to the Life Fest. No, no, you can't. Yeah. Tracy, this I is our, we, own, we own this. <laughs> I can't buy anything. The Floaters LLC, their corporation, oh. they'll come after you. Oh, you understand? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I got this, man. All right. Try this. Try one more. Capricorn, Tracy, I like a girl that can kiss me sensual on my lips. And take her time with me. Because sometimes I feel low and I need a girl that can pick me up. When I'm feeling bad, you got to make me feel good. That's what a man needs, is a counterpart. And I'll do the best I can to make you feel good, girl. Capricorn, Tracy, I'm out. Wow, that's good. That's yeah, that, was, that was the one. All right, that's a keeper. Let's do that lunch. was a, yeah. <laughs> then I'm going to fuck her mouth until her eye shadow bl- runs down her face. No, no, they don't. <laughs> yeah, you got to choke him out. Tracy, no, we're not. You just gonna, choke him out, <clears throat> straight up. You we're gotta choke him out. We're not gonna put that. We're not gonna put that. You gotta choke him out. It ain't about blowjobs no more. You gotta take it to the next level. You gotta choke him out. Hold their nose I, and they vomit on your balls. Crazy. On, the, I, on the handball courts. I don't feel like huh? this. Even if we did like an extended dance. But what cut, I gave you know, was gold, man. No, we got the beginning part. I think is good. That's the big. That's all of it. Right, well, we can't use to choke like to them out ca- and vomit on the No, I was just telling you my personal preferences, man. <laughs> no, okay, I understood. No, I wasn't going to put that on the record. I'm corporate now, Adam Corolla. I'm corporate. Alec Baldwin's my biological father. I ain't fucking around. I eat all the M&Ms. Okay, yeah, I understood. Yeah, understood. I don't fuck around. The great Tracy Morgan, everybody. Oh, love me some Jay Moore. All right, let's get ready with some news first. Stamps.com, baby. Holidays, they're upon us. You don't want to go to the post office. You got to wait there. Big Mama got it all. It's behind the counter. Oh, uh, no. That is the right postage. <laughs> See, she's arguing. She's arguing with well, you. Well, give me my package back. That's Slide right. Slide out of the window. You, Why is it you, bulletproof? Always behind her. Mm. She's there. She's causing a kerfuffle. You're just wanting to send that little world's best dad mug off to your dad and no you can't do it i say go to stamps.com use stamps.com that's what we use here use it at your place i got a special offer use the promo code adam the no risk trial 110 dollar bonus offer includes digital scale 55 bucks free postage go to stamps.com before you do anything else click the microphone top of the home page type in adam stamps.com promo code adam all right allison rosen do some news. The news with Allison Rosen. She'll read some news from her iPad. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. It's Allison, Allison. And when it's time to wrap it up, she'll sign it off with zip it cut. It's Allison, Allison. I don't know if you guys heard, but Tila Tequila is losing her goddamn mind. What? You heard about That's her not being the in the news? Ke- tequila, Since when? I know. But more so. Uh, she made a video and blog exposing the Illuminati, the secret organization that she says controls the world, uh, and then posted a bunch of Hitler stuff, which I'll get into, um, including a photo of uh, herself with an arm uh, swastika armband. Mm-hmm. And uh, Facebook has suspended her account. She's not on Twitter anymore. Um, she said that she's been an insider for 10 years now, and she knows... Uh, that others have made their mark on her website. So she's she's paranoid. She's saying other people have like put their stamp on her website. Um, she Can, posted... Yeah. Yeah. Do people... I, I, I feel like people essentially who get famous for, for no reason have this problem, which is they don't have anything to fall back on when they stop being famous. But because... Jay Moore's famous for a reason, and a lot of the voices of, and those people and characters and Jimmy Kimmel and those guys, they're sort of famous for a reason. They're famous because they have talent, and then they can always use that talent mm-hmm. to keep working. But if you're just famous for no reason, and then you fall off the fame cart and other <laughs> people start passing you by because, eh, the mayor of Toronto's smoking crack. We got to focus on him. And the Kardashians are up to God knows what. We got to focus on them. Well, now 
the only way to get back in, it's not going to be. Well, do you think that it's a calculated move to say something really inflammatory? Because this no, would I think obviously she's batshit crazy. Yeah, I do think she's batshit crazy. But they're batshit crazy who don't want to be famous. She's batshit crazy. Right. And the only way she's getting back in, I mean, the only way we're going to talk about her or she's going to show up on Entertainment Tonight is to do something like this. Tia, Tia or Tilla? Tia? <laughs> Tila, I believe. Tila Tequila. Mm-hmm. She's the kind of girl, like when you're single, you meet her at Club Med and you fuck her like on Wednesday, like mm-hmm. your first day there. Mm-hmm. And then on Friday, you're like, oh my God, she's coming. And you got to like jump in the ocean <laughs> and act like you don't see her. You're like, I can't believe I jumped on the first grenade I saw. I thought it was like a hot Vietnamese chick. I was in the middle of Cancun. What could go wrong? And then she comes down with an armband with a swastika <laughs> on it, and she wants to talk to you about oh. the Illuminati when you're fucking eight mushroom caps into your vacation. <laughs> and by the way- I'm her- tripping balls. I got a Vietme- Vietnamese lady talking about Hitler. That's not confusing at all <laughs> with a head the size of a thimble. First off, I don't. her real name is Shelly Vermouth, so it's not even- <laughs> Fair enough. It's not even Tia Tequila, by the way. Um, I think she's just doing, I think she's nuts and doing this so we can talk about her. So what she says is that uh, Hitler has been misrepresented by the media. Mm -hmm. Um, This was the first line of the blog post. It's probably time for a publicist change, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's not insane. (laughs) Maybe maybe go over to PMK. (laughs) Colin? That's a a good firm, PMK. They do uh, great publicity. Yeah. Yeah. He just signed up with uh, Bragman, Nyman, and Caffarelli. Or 42 West, if you're in New York. But I think one of the requirements of having a good publicist is not being dead. Oh, That's right. That's going to work against them. Yeah, but you know... It's hard to turn the PR around mm-hmm. when you're a dead guy, you know? I, I, I don't want to... you got to get to the podium mm-hmm. and speak your piece. Colin, I don't want to argue with you. I don't want to argue with you. But I'll... Then don't. <clears throat> no, but I just... I want to say... Look at bald Brian over there standing there like Caillou with nothing to say. Yeah. <laughs> Like Caillou. Caillou? Yeah. Wow. Deep pull. <laughs> um, <clears throat> we, all have, we all have kids. Um, I've, I have bet you Michael Jackson and maybe Elvis and maybe Sinatra and maybe many, many other people who aren't on this planet have a publicist. Do you yeah, think Michael Jackson a has oh, yeah. a publicist? Adam's actually really <laughs> right on that one. Because I know Michael Jackson made more than anybody else in the last four years. You think Tia Tequila has a publicist? No. That's a, that's a good but what if, seriously, what low-level publicity firm would not desperately want her to sign up if she was going to cut them checks? If there were, and if your firm was just had a roster that no one's ever heard Car- of. Let's have you and I, Corolla, okay, mm-hmm. Corolla, Rosen, and Moore. Mm-hmm. And we just go after her because she doesn't know who we are because we're not in the Illuminati. And we just say, we're turning it all around. We know all about the Illuminati. Mm. You give us $4,000 <clears> a month, and we're going to straighten this all out for you because we know that the government's spying on you. And then, boom, as soon as you say government spying on her, we have all the money. So uh, I'm, I'm, I don't want to correct you, and I'm sorry, Allison, but we got to bump you back to the end because Corolla, Rosen, and more sounds like there's more people, more That's, associates, and more no, partners. Right. Clients like that. I don't know. I just know Corolla more. I think you're getting into semantics, stupid. <laughs> and Rosen. What's the difference? I'm sorry, Colin. See, I don't know if my name would bump her. But she did say, I'm oh, not that's going right. to say. I'm not, this is her. I'm not going to sit here and say that I hate Jewish people, because that is not the case, nor is this about Jews. It is about Hitler and his side of the story that was never told since he was not the victor. Did... um. First off, you know my fantasy to do that show where we find the parents? It's just called Nice Job, right? I sit down in their living room. The name. Yeah. Say it sarcastically. <clears throat> yeah, I sit down with the parents. Lamar, of whoever. you are not the father. <laughs> and then instead of going to the cutaway baby backstage with that look on his face that says, either way I lose, right? Right. You eschew the baby, the mother, and the Lamar, and you go right to Lamar's parents and go, Nice job. Nice job. <laughs> No, I find all the nut jobs out there, yeah. all the people have done all these crazy criminal things or insane things well, or spouting off about the Jews or whatever, and I just sat, to, sat down and sit down in the living room and I go, nice job. What the fuck were you two up to? Look at this girl. What's going on? Has she even done porn? Or is she know. just nuts? Why'd you look at me? <laughs> she Allison looked at me like, Jay will take this one. Porn's her Do next, you know? her next no, move is no porn, idea. porn, right? Illiterate. I don't think she's a porn star. I think she's just a, like a booty chick. A Mac she was married to Sean Merriman from the Chargers for a while. <clears throat> the, the and great... they got into like drunken fist fights, which is probably one-sided. Um, my plan, if I'm under 100 pounds, is not to fight with guys who have a tattoo of a toggle switch on the top of the right hand and then a tattoo of a finger shutting the switch that says lights out. Yeah. That is my plan. 
Oh, she has a lesbian sex tape? Did right. whoever wrote that, <clears throat> did whoever provided us with that information, was that offered without research or with research? Because I just feel like in this whole building of dudes, mm-hmm. there's got to be people mm-hmm. who know about Tila Tequila's sex Yeah, but tapes. these guys are into like two girls, one cup. They can't be bothered with the topless chick washing the car as another girl like fucking grabs her ass. Right. These guys She's are too animals. mainstream. Anyway, right. she also said uh, that um, the whole the way Hitler's been treated and stuff. It, it brought me to tears because I used to think all of those, hor- or, or her new revelations about him. It brought me to tears because I used to think all of those horrible things about him until I learned the truth about the war and what Hitler truly did. And he was not a bad person as they have painted him out to be. Not even close, three exclamation points. I cry because my heart feels broken. I I still go with publicity stunt. I, the easiest thing in the whole world is pick Hitler out and then start to, uh, talk, blowing sunshine up his ass. That's what Iran's yeah. been doing? Mm-hmm. Deny the Holocaust for sure. publicity reasons? <laughs> who's, who's Iran's publicist? Um, I would say uh, Turkey. Maybe, maybe uh, it's Corolla Rose and Amour. I'm trying to think of... Uh, Who else is in the firm, though? Oh, that's, all, that's all that there is. The uh, Holocaust... Who, who did you not, like, here's my Here's my <laughs> thing on, on Holocaust. Um... If you're being accused of like like Holocaust, <clears throat> like uh, uh, genocide, like mm-hmm. Armenian Holocaust stuff, like stuff like that, it's usually not people randomly picking countries yeah. that have created have committed these atrocities to hundreds of thousands, maybe millions of people. Yeah. Usually, when someone starts pointing at your country, going just apologize for the Holocaust, and- the answer of huh, what? I, first off, I haven't even Who? been in the country for yeah. like. When was it? Who? Yeah, no. <laughs> Atta boy, Holocaust? Right. The best is when the defense is... Us? That wasn't a... Gen- you can't call that a genocide. It's like, what? well, you shouldn't be it's, arguing. We were we rounding don't. up. We're not calling it that. We're, we're calling were, it ethnic cleansing. We were exterminating <laughs> Armenians, but I, I hardly call that a genocide. There's a lot of arguing over semantics. It's like, well, you did something very, very bad. <laughs> Look, there's called? Serbia, there's Montenegro. There, you, know, there's, you know, what do you want? We divided into three places. Well, she also said, I understand the Jewish people went through some shit, too. But hey, guess what? What? Mm-hmm. Two question marks. So did, and this is in all caps, so did the majority of the people who suffered in every single war that took place. You are not the only ones. Hey, uh, Colin, didn't yeah. didn't uh, Montenegro uh, host Wild and Out on MTV? <laughs> Mont- was that, that was guy. That was his, uh, that was actually his little brother, Cavassier, but they did bring out Montenegro <laughs> for word on the street. <laughs> <laughs> for the street scene. They the street Understood. team with the street scene. And right. Montenegro brought out, you know. Understood. Everybody I, else. I hate her. Yeah. Um, you know how many Catholics died uh, under the uh, Hitler regime? I don't know. Six million. Oh, really? Yeah. Did not know that. Nobody talks about it. You mean, you're talking about like the, the exterminated, gypsies? Exterminated. And the gays? And, like, like No religion. You're out. Oh, oh, be, just didn't like the Catholics. Yeah. You didn't have to be a gypsy or anything. Catholic gypsy. It was probably a double mark. <laughs> double double dare do dog dare you. Front of the line. Yeah, double front gypsy. of the line. If you were a, a, a Catholic Jew gypsy, uh, you did not stand a chance. By the way, yeah. it must have been a weird thing because <clears throat> gypsy. I never really thought about it. But well, first off, you know, Hitler, like he did the Jews, but he did the gypsies. And if you were retarded, he did you and mm-hmm. stuff. And there had to be a whole bunch of guys wearing like bandanas with one big hoop earring going. No, no, I'm just trying to get laid. I'm not... I travel around in a cart, yes. Yeah. I do play the mandolin, but that's... I'm not a gyp, gypsy. No. No. And no, my, not and a my gypsy. son with I, one eye covered in feces that in the apple cart I drag behind my horse, that's that's actually my dog. We're fine. Yeah, we're not. We're moving not. it along. And then there must have been some sort of test, like, I, I don't know who you... Who's a gypsy? Who has yeah. a learning disability? Is there a thing? Is it... Is it like blazing saddles where you get the paddle with the string on it and the ball and you have to execute it like, all right, you're going into the train unless you can pull off five of these wow. in a row. Like, yeah, I, because the, the Jew thing's fairly, fairly straightforward. Yes. Like, all right, that's you're your Jew. Right. You're Jewish. Yeah. But I feel like the gypsy, I'd just be going, oh, yeah. I, I was chilling with those guys. Yeah. yeah, we smoked a little weed, but we didn't. I'm not a gypsy. A lot of guys don't have permanent addresses. What, is, what does that mean? <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I'm going to the uh, junior college over there in Strudeldorf. I just I'm trying to get laid, nice. man. I don't know Atta what the boy. fuck. I don't know what's going on with these gypsies. The no, amount not of research. A gypsy. How do they? You said the Jewish thing is pretty straightforward, and in all sincerity, like being serious, like. I wouldn't know if I was running a country and I wanted to exterminate an entire group unless it was like a, a skin color 
or something completely overt, mm-hmm. there had to have been a margin of error, a plus minus of about 100,000. <laughs> there yeah. had to be. Because you can't go through people's, like now we have the internet, you go through people's family trees and stuff. But like back then it's like, okay, you're a Jew, you're a Jew, uh, he's counting money, he's a well, Jew. Well, not, like, not. Circumcised, he's a Jew. And in a place. That I would have been out because I'm circumcised. In a place Perfectly. where the full-blooded Aryan German guy has a, a Berg in his name and he's drinking from a Stein. Yeah. Yes, there had to be yeah. a certain amount of confusion with the Steins and the Bergs and all the... Because the German names are super right. Jewish sounding too. That, yeah. they're, you're right. There had to be at least 100,000 guys going, I, what? I love fucking Hitler. I'm drinking I'm a all, Vex the, right now. I love the Autobahn. What do you mean? See, I don't, Fuck the St. Pauli girl. I don't know at the beginning how many Jews were like, wow, this is not a good time and a good place to be Jewish. We've got to get out of here or we have to hide. I mean, I think at the beginning, there was they were so assimilated that Look, there the was this man, idea once, that, once okay, come down to City Hall, we'll just wear you. the armbands, but it's not going to get that bad. Right. Yeah. Well, it start. Yeah, I mean that's the that's the problem. Uh, well, hey, let, me, let me tell you, Laszlo Gorog, my uh, grandfather, he figured out which way the wind was blowing over there in Budapest in uh, thirty eight, thirty nine. I believe it's pronounced went, Budapest. <laughs> Sorry, Chris. Yeah, yeah. Your grandfather was Jewish. Budapest. 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 Yeah. Budapest. Your grandfather. Or with a T. Your step grandfather was a Jew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And his father before him. He carried a watch. Yeah, in his ass. <laughs> he knew that was the only place that Hitler and his fine, snappy-dressed army would never get their dirty hands on it. They were well-dressed, yeah. This watch. <laughs> it's your birthright. <laughs> fucking alarm clock radio. Yeah, my, uh, <clears throat> my step-grandfather, Laszlo, Lotzi. So then when they had taken you away because your step-grandfather was Jewish, they would have thought you were Jewish. You could be Jewish. I, you know, you get the tight fro if you're growing up. I've been, Leo accu- I've been accused of <laughs> rocking the Leo, Leo Sayer fro for a long time. Yeah. You would have been one of the ones having a hard time talking your way out of the, uh, out of the camp. Yeah. They would have been hey, uh, complainer. Come over here for a second. <laughs> what? what? You do a lot of complaining for uh, Goyam, huh? Your, your grandpa there. Uh, what's his deal? Step. My step grandfather. Step for the benefit of the court, please explain step. <laughs> he well, first off, that guy, step, no blood at all. And listen, I know I write jokes. I know I got a fro. I know I do a lot of complaining. I know I have uh, exaggerated brows. I'm not Jewish. I, I, I appreciate the people. Well, that, I, right there, that was very Jewish. Uh, <laughs> yes, take him away. Have oh, him wash. Listen, hold on. Have him wash Let and sit in my tent. Fa is what I have to say to you in this courthouse. Mother fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> I turned into, I don't know what, I, I realized I can't do German, so I just I can't either. Someplace in the I'll tell you Cape what I Horn. can do. Sherry's berries, baby! Oh, man. It's time. That time of year. Those del- things are huge. Del- they're mammoth berries. Giant dipped strawberries from Sherry's berries. Only $19.99. 40% savings. Go to berries.com, click on the microphone, type in ACE. Enormous, fresh, juicy, mouth-watering strawberries dipped in the white chocolate and the milk chocolate. My listeners, they get double the berries for 10 bucks more. They also have a delicious, by the way, they have all sorts of delicious products like Christmas cake pops. They have Christmas cake pops. Cheesecakes, dipped pretzels. Only way to get them and the nineteen ninety nine deal. And the special offer. Call 866-FRUIT-02 or visit them, berries.com, B-E-R-R-I-E-S.com. Click on the microphone in the top right corner. Type in ACE. Don't wait. It is upon us. All right, Allison, let's do another couple stories. You should get Tia Tequila on, the po- <clears throat> on uh, this podcast. Well, we should talk to... Uh, just ask her about Illuminati. Carola, uh, just act Rosen like more and more. Act, act like you're completely... Down with the Illuminati, and the, you think that just open the conversation with, I wanted you here because I think the government's spying on me. Don't you feel like the young chick who's cute? I'm, I'm not, <clears throat> not my cup of tea, but she's out there. Her name's out there. People kind of know who she is. Don't you feel like the porn movie is that sort of auxiliary shoot, that little 
Derringer you keep in your boot. That <laughs> like, in case you know, of emergency. Yeah, I mean that thing where it's like, if you I, ever, I got, if you I, ever need five hundred thousand dollars, you I, can quick, do it. Yes. Travis Pickle and Taxi Driver with all those guns. <laughs> mm-hmm. He had that buck knife taped to his boot. That's right. That's when he falls back on the mattress, he goes faster than you. You fuck. That's that's the point. Like, there's a weird sort of thing of going through life where if you know. And by the way, this is all pre age. 37 but i always have several hundred thousand dollars waiting for me out there if i just want to get drunk and jump on some stranger's cock in front of a camera you personally get that brian yeah thank you <laughs> yeah you personally i think with my name and my audience and my stature the man show they could do a <clears throat> lot of funny things with that title let's not forget the guy's got a dick like the hammer of thor you know? uh, let's that's not gonna hurt the brand <laughs> Let's not. Then he called him the hammer because of his punch. You know? Let's let's. Uh, I don't know Paul what Payne. I could get in the gay porn industry. There'd be a lot. There'd, there'd be units moved. There'd be curiosity. There'd be a lot of gay guys who just would like maybe that. Maybe like units see moved, that, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, maybe I got nothing. Leave Alternative lifestyle deputy dog or droopy dog. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Don't get me started on deputy dog. Uh, he yeah, waited I... way too long to come out of the closet. <laughs> I'm way out like a Murphy bed. Mincia does the exact same thing with the no, Murphy he bed. No, he does the exact same I'm thing. I'm circumcised. Look at my red rifle. That's what Rogan does. Now, this bucket of insecurity that you turned into, was this on air or off air? It was on air. And I will say in my defense, it wasn't necessarily a bucket of insecurity. I was more alarmed that that, that had happened without me knowing about it. No, it wasn't, then, it wasn't that bad, but he was literally going, I could, he, I could hear him going like, oh my God, Mencia no, did we this re- After you left, we replayed it. Like, we replayed it three times. Like, how funny, I was like, what? <laughs> because you, the two names you picked, like, Rogan is the joke police. But you must consider the source, right? Yeah, like, but I if think you were you underest- interviewing Michael Vick. I think you underestimate he, how much I respect you. As like the head of the totem pole. No, I pole. think you disrespect me by not thinking I have a sense of humor. I know you have a sense of humor, but like you're like ah, and I was like, oh my god, I, I was stunned. But don't you must expect me to come back with a joke or something that's ironic when you come to me with um, alternative lifestyle droopy dog. Adam has a really hard time with his name. He, you know, I, I uh, should just change it to like a Muslim name that rolls off your sorry. tongue. Sorry, <laughs> what, what, is it alternative lifestyle? Yeah. Okay. Alternative lifestyle, droopy dog. <laughs> Words that have never been put in that combination before. Yeah. You, you must understand. I'm going to try to say something that's interesting. Yeah, but it's not out of the realm of possibility that in 1995, <laughs> Rogan did a bit about like. I think it is. What if all cartoon characters were gay? Okay. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Like I think Elmer Fudd was gay. Like whoa. No. I, no. It, it plays, you know, like, it it plays just does to all, all our security insecurities. Yeah. It just plays right to our insecurities. That's all. You, the two names on the spot. I'm doing live radio. I'm thinking on my feet. <laughs> I got Mike Vick on hold. It was funny when I went really straight. I went. Well, that's Mencia did that in '95, and then Rogan. Well, Rogan did it, and then Mencia ripped him off with it. And he was, it, Jay was like. I, I didn't. Gone. I didn't know. I did not know that. And I was like, "Well, obviously it was out there. I knew it." And he was like, "I didn't. I did not know that." And I was like, "Well, you're a comedian, and you run in these circles, and obviously if I knew it, it he was like, I did not know." <laughs> yeah, it was bad. <laughs> well, I, but it was so bad, it was great. It was I've funny. read Jay's book, or first book, uh, "Gasping for Airtime," which is a great book, and in it, I can understand why you would have some sensitivity towards a joke stealing. I have a rep- implication. I some people will say. I'm a thief because in the book I admitted to taking Rick Shapiro, who I'm now in touch with. I'm trying to get him on more stories. Uh, he had a bit about an Irish bartender, like, oh yeah, you like, like somebody wants to tell him a story, and he just goes, oh here's a story. You're fired. Get out. Mm-hmm. And that was I had nothing, and it was like my 18th week in a row of nothing. I was gonna get I was gonna get fired from SNL, so I just stole his complete bit, wrote right. it, and somehow that one week it sails through read through, re it gets picked to be on the show. Mm-hmm. No one even picks it up during rewrites. It goes to dress rehearsal, and then it goes to air. And I'm like, well, mm. and then Lauren called me into his office and played me a video of Rick Shapiro doing the bit. Wow. He goes, do you know who this young man is? <laughs> and I was like, nah, never seen him before. Good looking cat. I was like, why is he doing that bit? <laughs> wow. Yeah. So you can see why he would have some sensitivity towards it. And right. Plus, Rogan on his podcast said that I stole from Burt Kreischer. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's like a whole fucking. Well, you shouldn't have done that. 
mess. Yeah, that's me. Uh, by the, the way, stories about my kids and family and all my walking impressions are right out of other people's pockets. Gasping for airtime, you can get on Amazon. Yes, of and course. you want to keep the pirate ship afloat, you go to Amazon. You go to amcroll.com. You click through the Amazon banner and you bookmark it for all your Christmas shopping. It's a great book. And your book Thank buying. you. I love it. I can't wait for your book. I quoted your book as a direct inspiration for some of mine. It, I, I genuinely really uh, was moved by Jay's book. It, it's funny, and then there's parts that are like moving. It's good. It's great. I uh, I actually stole my book. It's, a, it's an old, it's <laughs> an old Nancy writer. Drew novel. All right, let's do one more, baby girl. All right. Uh, MIT researchers say they've what do they come know? up. <laughs> they've come up with the trickiest tongue twister to date. So I thought mm-hmm. we could put it on screen, and then. Mm-hmm. Try to say it. I'll go. Adam, do you want to go first? Sure. Mm. Pad kid poured curd pulled cod. But that's say not it a, a real. Few times, but though. it's not a real sentence. But they're though. saying these are like the most difficult sounds to put together. And just because we had a Vietnamese lady on, we're starting with pad. <laughs> Shouldn't someone invent one that makes you say the n word? I mean, if you're just having fun with people. Oh, like. What's fun? Five smart fellows, they felt smart. Can you do that? Five smart fellows, that they felt easy. smart. Yeah, what I'm, what I'm saying is, is people, if they're smart, working on tongue twisters, yeah. work on ones Iron that are have end with you saying something wildly offensive. So it would have to be Tigger from like Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, could, the word knit, like you'd have to knit, oh, yeah, knit you something, tigger. knit Tigger. You could work it out. Yeah. You could. And, it, and Tigger got knit. <clears throat> right. It sounds bad just like that, right? <laughs> right. I'm saying you could. And if I say it by accident, you better fucking bleep it. Yeah, yeah that's no. definitely what we'll I'm do. I'm staying away from it. We're that, streaming live. That, the point oh. is. Oh, look. Pick, Hi, I'm Riley Cooper for the Adam Carolla Show. Pick <laughs> wide out for the uh, Eagles. Uh, Eagles. Oh, yeah. I know. Uh, no, what I'm saying is, is somebody should be picking every, you know, pick, pick one for every culture mm-hmm. and then come up with the combination of words that makes you say something horrible. Pat kid that's, poured curd pulled cod. Pat kid poured curd pulled cod. Pat kid poured curd pulled cod. Pat kid poured curd pulled cod. Well, what did the MIT people know? Yeah, they just bang that shit out of my sleep. Yeah. yeah. Pat kid you're... poured curd pulled cod. Pat kid poured curd pulled cod. Yeah, you Pad fucked kid it up. I already know the hardest one cod. to say is good blood, bad blood. But also... Say good blood, bad blood just three times. Beaner. <laughs> <laughs> shit! I knew it. You're so close. I knew I'd get sucked into it. Hey, that's fucked up, Holmes. <laughs> oh, sorry. Don't Mexican fuck. Guy. Don't fuck. Yeah, don't fuck with us, Holmes. I got I, your back, Vato, but you can't yell that in the streets no more, man. No, I'm just. I was making a joke. This is Glendale Holmes. Welcome to the 80818, man. <laughs> no, I was just making a joke because we're talking about saying offensive. You know, you better love beans, things. homie. No, I was making a joke. That shit ain't funny. <laughs> okay, I'm just. I'm making a joke. You know, hey, I, I saw your joke. Hummer outside. It's nice, man. Yeah, I don't want any trouble. I just. Oh, you don't want no trouble? No, I'm just making a joke. Nobody want no trouble, man. No, I don't. Why are you screaming beaner at the top of your lungs? You don't want no trouble, man. I was making a joke. That's fucked up, Holmes. No, Jay Moore. My eyes are barely open. I understand. (laughs) I'm sorry, man. I'm overweight and my eyes are barely open. I understand, man. I'm sorry. Um, This is no good because it doesn't make sense. I know. It has to. Adam Carolla, say good blood, bad blood three times. Good blood, bad blood. Good blood, bad blood. Good blood, bad blood. It's hard. It's, I thought that was the hardest one, but Ace Man now. No, that's hard. That's hard. I but that was kind of slow. Yeah, it was slow. That was not good. All right, let's bring it home, baby girl. That's the news. I'm Allison Rosen, Zipit Cunts. I love fucking Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> that was the news. With that's Allison your porn. Rosen. You having sex with Hitler. Ah, go to meeting, baby. It's getting cold out there. Can't get the band together. They're going back home. They're visiting relatives. Uh, but what? You got an emergency meeting? You want to get everyone back together? Business. Can't stop just because, uh, you know, you fired up the Yule log and you're standing under the mistletoe. No, you can share the screen. You can work together on documents, spreadsheets. You can work on projects in real time. Use the webcams and uh, make everything an HD video conference. Start hosting a meeting in seconds from your Mac, your PC, smartphone, or tablet by signing up for free. That's right. 30 days free. You get a free trial. No credit card required. Visit GoToMeeting.com. Click on the Try It Free button. Use the promo code, Adam. That's GoToMeeting.com. Promo code, Adam. All right. I want to thank Jay Moore for coming in here. Yes. And yes. Dancing like a monkey on a hot plate. You got to get Tia Tequila into the, our uh, fake PR firm. I, I think this is a stunt that needs to go down. Well, her and I are 
are going to the Holocaust Museum tomorrow, <laughs> and I will bring it up to her after. <laughs> after museum of Tolerance after, with after the Tequila. Museum of Tolerance. I smell a reality right. show. <laughs> uh, South Point Casino, January 24th through the 26th. Those are stand-up shows. More stories to podcast. You can get it on iTunes. New episodes Monday and Friday. And the website for all things Jay Moore, the radio show, the podcast, the stand-up, the new merch, everything, jmore.com. Twitter, at jmore37. And until next time, the sound crawl for Jay Moore, Allison Rosen, and Bald Brian saying mahalo. Look, I got a computer filled with nine-year-olds that are naked, but that's, anyway, that's in the past. For calling times and phone topics, follow the show on Twitter at Adam Carolla Show. Like Hayes on Facebook, follow him on Twitter at Adam Carolla. Two live podcasts coming up at the American Comedy Club in San Diego, Wednesday, December 18th. Then lots of live shows, stand-up, and more in the new year. Tickets and info on all live podcasts, stand-up, Mangria events, and more. Visit AdamCarolla.com.